In this lesson, we will take a look at organization of life. Most life forms can be organized into different levels. According to the cell theory, the cell is the basic unit of organization in all living things. All organisms are composed of cells. Some organisms consist only of a single cell, while others are multicellular. Cells differ in shape and size. For example, nerve cells are long and elongated, while blood cells are circular and biconcave. Most cells are microscopic, but there are cells that you can see with unaided eyes. Example is an ostrich egg cell, the largest cell in the world. Cells are classified as prokaryotic or eukaryotic. Prokaryotic cells such as bacterium do not possess nucleus and membrane-bound organelles, while eukaryotic cells like plant and animal cells have both. A cell has three basic parts. The cell membrane is the outermost boundary of the cell. It separates a cell from another, gives shape to the cell, and holds cellular parts together. It regulates the transport of materials, entering and exiting the cell, and transfers and receives signals from one cell to another. The nucleus contains the organism's genetic material and controls the cell's chemical and metabolic activities. The components of nucleus are nuclear membrane, the gateway of nucleus, chromosomes, the carriers of the genes, and nucleus, the ribosomal assembly center. The third part is the cytoplasm, which is composed of the following organelles. Endoplasmic reticulum, which serves as a system of transport for various molecules within the cell and is divided into rough and smooth ER. The major role of rough ER is to synthesize protein from ribosomes. Ribosomes on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum make it appear rough. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum does not have ribosomes and is involved in the synthesis of lipids and steroids. Golgi body, which is responsible for modifying, packing, and sorting out proteins and lipids from endoplasmic reticulum. Lysosomes, which contains hydrolytic enzymes and serves to digest or break down cell debris and recycle cell contents. Peroxisomes, which are responsible for oxidizing small molecules and help remove toxin from the blood. Mitochondria, which produce ATP or adenosine triphosphate, which carries high energy to power most cellular processes. Centrosome, which generate microtubules that form the cytoskeleton and play important role in cell division, and vesicle, a membranous sac that stores and transports ions, water, waste, and proteins. Other than the organelles, cytoplasm also contains other cytoplasmic inclusions. Ribosomes, which consist of RNA and associated proteins that function to synthesize proteins and cytoskeleton, which is responsible for cellular strength and motility. Cytoplasm also contains semifluid portion called cytosol, where dissolved substances are suspended. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed learning with us. For more videos like this, Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification button. I'll see you in the next lesson.